The Pacific Ocean looks inviting on a calm April morning. But there is more than just water out there and it is causing big problems. Enough trash to cover Texas twice over. A garbage collection double the size of that entire state, three times bigger than France. I think people are becoming more aware, but we got to do something about it now. Floating somewhere between California and Hawaii, way out west, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, the Pacific Trash Vortex. Call it what you will, it is huge either way. It's almost like a soup. 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic, say researchers, or 250 for every human on the planet. 80,000 tons and growing way faster than expected. When people think of this garbage patch, they think it's kind of huge piles of, of plastic, and it's a mixture of things. That's one thing to really keep in mind. It's almost like a, a goop. This stuff breaks down. It's almost like a jelly. The big question here is where is all of that trash coming from? And the answer, of course, is us. It's humans. It's plastic. It is man-made. But a number of different sources, and two in particular, being highlighted here. Japan, one of them, debris that fell into the ocean following that major tsunami back in 2011 and is still there, floating. Researchers say that accounts for around 20%, but they claim fishermen bear the main responsibility, around half of that plastic from discarded nets, chucked overboard, then left to pollute. Even if you were a casual boater, you could go through this in many, most of the time and not know you were in this garbage patch. They know all about marine pollution here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. In fact, they try to teach visitors about it. Education is key to changing attitude and behavior. So they're keenly watching an experiment that may help get rid of some of this plastic. The idea is that you put stations into the water with their own nets that help bring all the trash together. They will drift with the currents. They will concentrate this material. So if it gets concentrated enough, then you could remove it and recycle it, get rid of it somehow. So you're effectively adding more plastic to get the original plastic out? <laughs> well, but only a small amount, maybe in the nets. And, so, and you're concentrating what's there. So it's a, it's a concentrated enough soup then that you can remove the ingredients. It's so far out of sight, right. out of mind. Yeah. Why should we care? Exactly. That's, that's a great point. I think that people have to realize that 70% of the world's uh, oxygen comes from the ocean. It's a source of a third of the world's protein. And so if the ocean isn't healthy, then our environment isn't going to be healthy. And few will argue that action is needed, both at sea and on land, before it's too late. It's been estimated that by 2050, there will be more plastic in the sea than fish by mass. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Los Angeles.